What is up, everyone? Welcome to Sports Zone. I hope you all had a fantastic Sunday. I'm ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones. Well, what a difference just one weekend makes. This time, just last week, Mizzou softball was fighting to avoid a sweep at Rocky Top. Today, Larissa Anderson and company were hunting for a sweep of their own against a top three opponent. Stellar defense was a big part of clinching the series win just yesterday. But it was a bit of a different story today against the second-ranked Baton Rouge Tigers. Kara Daly and company hoping to break out the brooms today and seal a sweep on their home turf against LSU. Just like the first two games, though, Mizzou had to climb out of an early deficit. Sierra Briggs smacks a hit over Shantese Phillips' head and turns on the Jets for a triple in the opening frame. I'm telling you, it did not take her long to score after Briggs going to slide into home safely after a wild pitch from Lauren Krings. 1-0 LSU on top. But let me tell you here, Kara Daly was controlling the hot quarter to perfection today. That is a textbook 5-4-3 double play. She was one to watch out there. Now time to get the bats going, though. One runner aboard for Katie Chester, and that's goodbye to that ball. Chester blast her fourth homer of the season to put Mizzou on top 2-1. to one. But LSU quickly tied the ball game. Again, one inning later, Alex Honnold nearly comes up with a spectacular catch, but guys, it falls out of her glove. Run scores, knots the game at two. No worries, though. The hometown Tigers capitalize on a pair of LSU errors. Carly Petty couldn't field that one, so Julia Crenshaw took advantage. 3-2 now, Mizzou in front. How about some more stellar Tiger defense? Taylor Pleasant sends a bullet to the pitcher. But Jenna Laird smothered that deflection for the double play. But two innings later, defensive miscues actually cost the hometown Tigers. The lead Laird can't come up with the grab ball there. LSU has a runner on, and that's going to end up being critical because with two outs, the Baton Rouge Tigers retake the lead. Kelly Lynch drops a base hit in the center, but Maya Dodges throw. Look at that. Goes off the runner, scoots out of play, allowing a second run to score. All of a sudden, just like that, LSU is up 4-3. to three. Mizzou gave themselves a chance, though, in the seventh first. Some more jaw-dropping defense from Kara Daly reaching over the fence for the out. Como Tigers down just one after a clean seventh inning. Now Alex Honnold puts two runners on base in the final play frame, driving a base hit into center with two outs. Mizzou still down to its final out, but they had a chance at the very least. And this grounder from Julia Crenshaw nearly finds the grass, but Carly Petty makes a great stop to end the game as Mizzou comes up just one win short of a top three SEC sweep. 4-3 was today's final score. Katie Chester is now tied for the team lead in homers with four. But that was one of the few bright spots offensively as Mizzou posted just three hits on the day. Larissa Anderson's Tigers still end the weekend on a positive note with a series win, but still looking to put all three phases of the game together. We'll hit really, really well, and then we're not playing great defense. And we'll pitch really well, and we're not scoring enough runs. So it's like we need all three aspects to be working at the same time um, to really get cooking. And I, I think we're really close. Like, our, our pitching's really strong. I'm really happy with the depth of our bullpen. You know, I thought yesterday we made some unbelievable defensive plays, and I thought today we we let them back in the game because of some defensive miscues. It's putting all those three pieces together at the same time, and when we, hopefully we're doing that towards the end of the season, and that's why where we want to peak is going into postseason.